Uh, my name is Rachel. I am 26 years old and I work at a heart monitoring company doing the um, insurance billing for Blue Cross Blue Shield. I met him through a mutual friend at a country concert, XTU. Uh, we were at my house drinking and a fight got started outside between him and another guy. Cops got called. Uh, they ended up just taking him home because he was underage. And when I went back to his house, uh, we started arguing. Uh, he just started screaming, calling me names, and um, kind of like gripped me up and then punched right in front of my face and it hit the wall and never hit me. That was like the first time the aggression started coming. I've been a police officer for 30 years. I worked as a Morton Borough police officer for 10 years. I am presently a Ridley Township Police Corporal. In a 12-hour shift, we probably get maybe two or three calls within that time period for domestic problems. I think it all started when, or I guess I would say his true colors came out, when he went to boot camp and didn't make it through. He got sent home early. And that's when, you know, he started putting me down, you know, calling me dumb, ugly, I'm not worth anything. Um, you know, he would grab my wrist, scream in my face, um, push me around, um, just nasty stuff. <laughs> He kind of separated me from my friends and family. I moved into his house. I stayed with him. Um, slowly, he would separate me from my friends, you know, saying he didn't like them. And when I lived with them, he wouldn't hang out with them, so I never could see them. Um, all my friends hated him. No one ever told me. <laughs> um, but I, um, thankfully, had one really good friend that when I did get out of the relationship, she was there for me. Uh, initially, I, when it started, felt bad for him. Um, I thought he was just taking out his aggression and being upset about not making it to boot camp on me. Um, so I kind of just took it in the beginning, thinking it'll change, it'll get different. He wasn't like this way in the beginning. And it didn't. <laughs> Depending on the circumstances, you can be charged with simple assault, aggravated assault, or recklessly endangering, you can be charged with terroristic threats or stalking, you can be charged with involuntary manslaughter, depending on the circumstances and the situation. Um, after we had broke up, I had text messages on my phone that were insane, telling me he was going to come beat the shit out of me, burn my house down, rape my 12 year old niece. Um, jump me, so I brought it to the cops and they called him and that's why he's legally not allowed to talk to me anymore. <laughs> a PFA is a court-ordered um, form called protection from abuse. It allows the victim, an abused victim, to file through the courts um, an order that allows the police to act upon an abuse. It act it actually protects the victim from, helps protect the victim from any further abuse. That allows the police to interact um, when, when need be on something like that. It protects the individual. Oh, um, I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> uh, I, there was no reason for him to act that way. There's no reason for anyone to act that way. And I have no sympathy for him at all. You know, he broke up with me, which is the best thing he ever did for me. Um, I sought help, and I learned to have more confidence in myself. I don't believe anything he says, or I don't think that way of myself. I think very highly of myself. So it's definitely changed my life for the better. There's so many. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I want to buy a house this spring. Um, move in with my boyfriend. He's good to me. <laughs> um, and just advance in my career.